The tables are parked near tourists walking Times Square or waiting to see the late show. Is this Louis Vuitton? No, look like. For 75 bucks, you get the letters VO on the tag instead of the iconic LV. But if you want, I give you 65. So technically, it's not counterfeit. And downtown, the vendors on Canal Street are well aware of that. Is it no copy? It's not a copy? Yeah, it's not coffee. Right Former cop James Riccardi does investigating for luxury goods companies. Everybody recognizes their, the colors with certain brands. The intent there is to confuse the consumer to make it look like it's that kind of bag. They'll steal them into a room. Knockoffs are a trillion dollar industry with fake Versace glasses, red so Louboutin heels, and thousands of watches coming through JFK Airport all year. What people don't realize is that where that money is going. Greg Pavlidis heads the Economic Crimes Unit for the Queens DA. Most of that money is going to fund other criminal activity and most of it is going out of this country uh, to help fund terrorism throughout the world. According to a Homeland Security official, the 2015 Charlie Hebdo magazine attacks in France were funded by counterfeit designer goods sold on the streets of Paris. The 2004 Madrid train bombings paid for by counterfeit CD cash. And you can go all the way back to 1993 to New York's first World Trade Center explosion to learn that counterfeit T-shirts, along with untaxed cigarettes, were funding a plot to blow up the city's landmarks. Suspect Sadiq Ali recorded a video of his run-through drive in both the Holland and Lincoln tunnels. <laughs> in one case, money raised from the sale of counterfeit Nike sneakers was going to be used to buy a rocket launcher to try and shoot down airplanes in Queens. Fortunately, the FBI got involved and nipped the conspiracy in the bud. Last December, the NYPD raided this Brooklyn storefront for bogus smartphones. Approximately 9,000. Viagra, airbags, even condoms among the items counterfeited these days. For the counterfeiter, the risk is worth the reward because there is minimal penalties involved. Often a fine instead of jail time, the penalty is so weak that drug dealers have been known to make the switch from kilos to knockoffs. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11.